YouTube, this is Spirit Halloween 167 back for another video. And this video will be the top 10 Spirit Halloween 2015 props. So these are my predictions. And I've seen everyone so far in stores, so I know what everyone like looks like and stuff. And how they look and stuff. So yep, these are my predictions. And some of yours might not be on the list, so just comment below and I should change it, but I probably won't. Okay, so coming in at number 10 is Compost Quartz. So the reason why I rate him at number 10 is because he has absolutely no lights. He just has music. Because, like, in pitch black, you can't, like, you can't see him. Like, you need to add strobe lights or something. That's, like, extra money added. So that's why it's at number 10. Coming in at number 9 is Hung Up Zombie. The reason why I um, rate him at number 9 is because... First of all, it's price. He's way overpriced. He would actually be a lot cooler. Like, I might actually pick him up if he was, like, 150 or 140 but he is not. Like, 180 is a little overpriced. And, second of all, he has absolutely no lights again. So, it's not really that cool. And his body's made out of styrofoam. Okay, so, coming in at number 8 is Swinging Skeleton Boy. So the reason why I um have Swinging Skeleton Boy at number eight is because they have so many swinging props. They have Swinging Swamp Hag, which is she's not on the list. Um, Pumpkin Nester, Little Nester, Swinging Skel um no uh Tire Zombie, and then they have a Swinging Zombie Girl on Swing. And so that's why he just like a remake of all of me. He sounds exactly like Little Nester, and the face is made out of plastic, just so you guys know. And a lot of people have them, so, yep. There's Swing Skeleton Boy. Okay, coming in at number 7 is a Shotgun Bust Zombie. The reason why I rate him at number 7, he's pretty unique, and he's Techy Toys. It's one of the only three Techy Toys props from this year. And, I, like, I like him because, like, you can actually shoot a zombie and stuff. Or, like, hit, like you just have it near your thing. It's like, shoot a zombie. It'd be actually pretty cool. People will probably like it. New Honey House, and the only downside about him is that I don't know if you lose a gun. I don't know if Techie will sell, because I think you might have to, I don't know if you can reprogram it, because I do not have, I might actually think of getting it. The only downside is that he only comes with one gun. It would make sense if he comes with a couple of them, like maybe two or three, but he only comes with one. And I don't know what to do, like, after that, if somebody takes it. Okay, so coming in at number six is Moon Shrine Barrel Zombie. The reason why I rate him at number 6 is because he needs to pop up a little faster. Like, for $180. It'd be more cool if he was, like, pop up werewolf or, like, pops up really fast, but he's not. And second of all, his clothing needs to be a lot longer. Because if I look straight down in the barrel, all I can see is just, like, the wires and know that he's fake and stuff. Like, the detail on him is pretty cool, but, like... And then the barrel is actually made out of, like, plastic, like, um, like, plastic things to set up, like, a tent type thing. So, if those things snap, then you just have to use tape, and then if it breaks, and then I don't know if you can buy, re I don't know if you can use it without it, because I'm pretty sure the motor's connected to it. So, that's why I rate them at number six. So, coming in at number five is Cerberus Three-Headed Dog. The reason why I rate him at number five is because... Um, but he's a very sturdy prop because his um base is made out of plywood and so. But the only downside about him is that he has no back. But I can actually see that reasonable for the price because he's very big. Um, like maybe if you put like a um garbage bag at night, like people won't really tell that it ha doesn't have a back. But I might actually get him for the half off sale if they still have them. Coming in at number four is an incinerator. So, incinerator is actually a pretty cool prop for the price that he is. He's like an ex like uh just a furnace type thing, and then a uh, head pops up very quickly. I like that motion. The only downside about it is that he needs to be made a little bit sturdier because it's like made out of like pl like the thing's made out of plastic like maybe if it was made out of wood and spray painted that I would definitely get it because he's very sturdy but maybe he could be a little bit better made but yep yeah, so that's number four incinerator 
Coming in at number three is a uh, Harbinger of Hell. So I rate him at number three because he's very big in life size prop, and it's the first devil that spirits made for an animatronic. Um, so yeah, I'm probably not gonna get them this year, maybe, but because Spirit Halloween, um, they never brought back a prop that's $200 and over back the next year, because usually this brings back stuff that's like 180 but they sell for 200 and then the next year they don't sell, like, so, for example, Pumpkin Nester, he's not selling this year, but he's 200 so yeah, but he's a leftover prop of some sort to and I like how his cane lights up, and he, like, the only downside about him is that his mouth is so loud. Like, he talks, but then you can hear, like, a bang after from, like, his mouth hitting. Like, it needs to be a little bit more spaced out so it doesn't, like, bang. But, yep, there's Harbinger Rail. So, coming in at number two is a Smoldering Zombie. So, I'm actually thinking of getting him right now. Um... Because I actually have the money right now for him. Um, but I'm actually pretty much going to get number one more, which pretty much everyone knows what it is. I actually, because I like how his veins, but he needs to be a little cheaper. I'll actually be very surprised if Spirit actually put him for 180 or 200 I'm pretty sure they'll probably just keep him at 230 but you never know. If he brings it down, I'll strike right away for him. Because he might raise the price after. They might have like a weekly sale or something. I don't know. There's a smoldering zombie. And if you guys um, don't know about the 20% off coupon, which I made in my last video. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, if you go on their website and you go. It's, this is only for the computer only. Well, not work. I don't know about an iPad. I don't really. I haven't tested it on my iPad, but my phone hasn't worked. So, um. Go on the computer and it says, do you want a 20% off coupon? And then you print it off. Because there is no catalog this year with a 20% off. I'm actually very mad about that, but whatever. Okay, so coming in at number one is Wolfrug. So, the Wolfrug is actually very cool. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, it's Twitching Banshee. So, that's, um, I'm, the reason why I read her at number one is because everyone's top four list of pops are getting this year, she is on it. And then usually they switch up props after that. But she I, she pretty much on everyone's list to, of getting. And the only reason why I like her is because she screams really loud. And she would go she work, goes with an asylum. And you can like mold the hands of like which way you want it to look. Pretty cool. But I will actually be very shocked if she gets on sale. Because I am going to get her probably about two weeks guys thinking uh in two weeks think of me getting it or her and making a review on her and then maybe i'll get smoldering zombie right after but you never knew so yeah um so please comment rate and subscribe and also um okay so if you guys haven't s i went to home depot yesterday and well the one closest to me is about like 10 12 minutes away and they um actually have their stuff but i'm pretty sure it's sunday so they're like the people that set it up this stuff weren't there today yesterday so i'm pretty sure they're probably almost set up today but i'll probably go in about another week and then Lowell's ain't gonna have their stuff for another week it seems like every like it seems like every person's like like, things, like, opened up before mine. Like, their store seems, like, a week before mine. So, it's, like, weird. And, uh, yeah. So, and then I still have to go to Kmart. I know. They probably won't even have their stuff because school's still not in, in yet. Because people in Florida, um, pretty sure they started school, like, a week ago. So, they probably got some shipments. But my school starts, um, Wednesday, actually. So, I will actually keep making videos once I'm in school, probably after school, if I go anywhere. Um, so, yeah, guys, please comment, rate, and subscribe.